black holes are by far the most scary objects in space. Everything that goes inside will never come out again, even light and information. So what will we see if we have an indestructible spaceship and fly straight into it? Can we even travel to other universes through black holes? This is no science fiction, but more later. The truth is more extreme than most people think. Black holes come in a wide range of sizes, but none of them are small in terms of mass. A stellar black hole formed when a massive star collapses is usually between 5 and 20 times the mass of our Sun. But that entire mass is squeezed into a sphere only about 30 to 60 kilometers across. Let's put that into perspective. If the Earth were to become a black hole, it would need to be compressed into a sphere just 1.8 centimeters across. But the largest black holes are super massive. The biggest one found so far is called Ton 618. It's over 66 billion times the mass of the Sun. Its event horizon would be about 195 billion kilometers across. It could fit the entire solar system and more inside it. Before we are flying into a black hole, we must know how they work to understand it. It all starts at the event horizon, the outer boundary of a black hole. It's not a surface or a shell. It's the point where escape becomes impossible, even for light. Once something crosses the event horizon, it can never return. One of the strangest effects near black holes is time dilation. According to Einstein's general relativity, time slows down in strong gravity. The closer you are to a black hole, the more time slows for you, compared to someone farther away. In space, there is a dimension called space-time. Just imagine it as a flat surface where every object in space lays on. Every object with mass will curve this surface. The more mass, the more space-time will bend. And black holes totally bend it, forming these funnels. That means time stops there. Let's say an astronaut is falling into a black hole. From their perspective, time feels normal. They see their clock ticking and everything seems continuous. But someone watching from a safe distance would see their clock ticking slower and slower. The astronaut would appear to freeze near the event horizon. So let's say we build a spaceship that's completely indestructible. No gravity can crush it and we send it into a black hole. The crew crosses the horizon with no sudden jolt. There's no barrier to hit. Space just keeps falling inward. Time feels normal to them, but they cannot send any information back. As they go deeper, gravity increases. Tidal forces stretch space and matter. Eventually, the ship reaches the core, the place where space and time stop behaving normally. According to classical general relativity, everything inside the event horizon is pulled to a single point, the singularity. This is where gravity becomes infinite, space-time curves infinitely, and all matter is crushed into zero volume. But most physicists think this can't be the full story. The singularity is a prediction of equations, but it may mean that our math is incomplete. The idea that a black hole could lead to another universe is one of the most speculative theories in theoretical physics, but it's grounded in serious attempts to understand space-time under extreme conditions. This concept suggests that the core of a black hole, instead of being a dead end, could act as a bridge or wormhole hub to a different region of space-time. In this view, the intense gravitational collapse doesn't end in a singularity that destroys all structure, but rather creates a highly curved funnel in space-time that continues elsewhere. This new space-time region could expand outward, forming a new separate universe, sometimes called a baby universe. From our side, it would appear that matter is lost to the black hole, but in the baby universe, that same matter could be the starting point for a whole new cosmos. This idea is still entirely hypothetical. It's rooted in certain interpretations of general relativity and quantum gravity. One of the main challenges is that any such bridge would be unstable and likely collapse immediately, unless exotic matter, with negative energy, somehow keeps it open, which is purely theoretical. Nonetheless, the idea remains a serious candidate in the ongoing effort to understand what happens beyond the event horizon. What do you think what we will see inside a black hole? Write your opinion in the comments. If you think this was interesting, watch this video and discover what's beyond the edge of the universe.